Double W Elite Squad, you're watching Gizmo 305. everyone welcome back to gizmo 305 today i have something super fun to share with you guys and it is the wrecking slam performance center playset that we're going to be taking a look here today as well as all four figures on the set that just dropped so i am super excited for this so let's get started all right everyone and this is the back side of the box first of all now let me show you the back image as you can see right there it says that collapse ring and tower when you slam into the mat that is super cool so that means that the ring collapses and everything as you can see right there on the image it says train to become the most destructive force in wwe super super cool includes breakaway punchable bag so that is awesome now it also tells you all the accessories that you get which of course we know about the punching bag but you also get a weight bar dumbbells lights a wall frames and you also get the ring of course and the scaffolding area that says performance center as you can see down there super super cool i cannot wait to open this all right as well as the four figures that go with the set as you can see right here we have seth rollins that comes with a table right there aj styles with a set of chairs john cena with a ladder and the undertaker with another ladder now the other superstar that is on this set that uh, got released already and most of you i'm sure have and we've reviewed here on the channel is braun Strowman with the wrecking car part of the wrecking uh slamming series so super cool to see this i'm sure mattel will add more figures as they go and we'll take a look at all these figures one by one so let's get started all right guys and there it is the playset all built put together as well as the figures of this set the Undertaker right there. Looking how cool that is. Seth Rollins. You have AJ Styles and John Cena. Now, I am telling you something, guys. If you do pick up this playset, know that it it is a lot harder to build than what it looks. I mean, and those instructions are not going to help you at all. They are complete trash. They will not help you in any on how to build it. Uh, as well as if you're trying to, you know, get this figures out of the bag, you might find yourself in a little bit of a struggle. I know I did. And uh, if you're a kid, make sure you have your parent help you out because you definitely are going to need some sharp object like a box cutter or a knife to cut, cut the figures out. But now without further ado, like, let's get started. And this place is what I can tell you guys is that it's really, really awesome. I mean, I, I really do like it. I, I get the idea of what Mattel was going for with this. Now, I do have some good things and some bad things to tell you. First of all, uh, I am going to start off by telling you that, you know, this part right here, which is what is this performance center, as well as the back area where you see those uh, weights, the dumbbells back there, and the punching bag, all of that is well worth it guys i mean i am i am one of the uh few i believe or maybe the larger group of people that was not able to get that mattel backstage setup so that kind of helps a little bit you know to you know get that um itch out of the way of having a little bit of a weight room or kind of like a backstage area but I mean, overall, I, I, I do not like the fact that Mattel went with this cut here on the middle. I mean, I get it. It's supposed to be called the Wrecking Slam Place It, and well, you're supposed to wreck it. And I get the idea of this, but I mean, it would have been a lot better if it would have been a firm ring. Uh, I mean, the, the, the decals that they give you is for the shorter version of a ring. So even if I wanted to save my uh, stickers and put it on a regular ring, I couldn't do that because the connectors back here, as you can see, it's all one piece so this whole tower connects right down here and down here and that's the way that you get this belt so there is no way of getting you know this uh set with a regular ring now about the figures what i can tell you is uh this is the thing that caught my attention about this place and most than anything and most of it was the figures like for example i'm gonna bring in this john cena out close this is what i'm telling you guys elite torso as you can see right there so he does have like that elite upper uh torso of movement right there 
but the bottom part of it is basic. So you don't get the elite articulation down here or on the knee pads or on the feet or anything like up here as well on the arm if you can see the uh, articulation is moved down here to the elbow just like with the basics and well this is just crazy it's just so that you can actually hold on to uh, stuff now that's another thing that's the one that is a plus for me this figures guys introduce these hands right here as you can see Hope this camera focus, focus, focus. Uh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Finally. So it's able to grab onto things. See, it opens up like this. And you can grab onto chairs, grab onto ladders, which that's what he came included with, a ladder. And just bash people on the head like this. So that's, that's basically where that movement on the torso is for with the John Cena. But not every single figure, guys. So I'm telling you that right now. For example, AJ Styles does not have that. What AJ does have, however, is that on the middle part of his waist, if you're going to hear a little click, there it is. And he kind of just hits like this, which I think I kind of get the idea of why that's uh, with included with AJ Styles other than, you know, the torso and that is so that you can deliver the perfect phenomenal form so you have your figure here as i tell you the same thing with the hands guys he can also grab onto everything and i believe that's for every single figure which we're gonna see here but he does the same thing so you can have him literally hold on to the ropes jump up here and deliver the perfect phenomenal forearm just like that that is so cool uh i hope mattel to doing that and i mean i'm sure he can swing one mean chair onto somebody as well super cool figure i like that head scan that is one of my if not that's definitely my favorite head scan of aj Styles so far i mean i know for a fact mattel is just gonna outdo themselves over and over but for now that is my favorite head scan going on to the architect seth freaking rollins again we don't see that here on the torso as well but what i think he does have is the kick so if you push his leg back he'll just kick see like that and everything else is just basic but he does come with that hand as well so he can actually hold on to uh, a chair and you know bash it on the head of AJ or something like that so actually let's see how that would look all right guys and we are back now Seth has a chair on his hand and look at AJ how afraid he is to get the chair to the head but we are going to see if actually this grip uh, holds on to the chair it kind of seems like it is it is pretty sturdy as you can see right there Seth Rollins is holding onto it pretty tightly so let's see how this would go if we were to bash AJ Styles come on come on come on come on with the chair over and over and over and over and over and over kind of like how it happened on Raw so cool burning it down keep on burning it down he would not let go of that chair guys look how cool this is this is awesome now I am going to tell you that you know I really do not like the fact that for Seth Rollins, the actual movement is the leg. I mean, I do get it. You know, he has the stump, but he do, they do not even allow you to stump anybody. Actually, it just kind of kicks. That's all he does. So, I mean, for him, I would have appreciated if there would have been like a different kind of movement. But nonetheless, such a cool figure. Now, certainly not least, we have here the Undertaker. Now, this figure, guys... It's on another level because I don't remember the last time he ever wore these uh, kind of pants. I'm sure it's been a minute and I, I don't know. There's so many things going wrong with this figure. For example, that eyebrow right there. Look at that. They did not paint right on the eyebrow. Come on, zoom in. Look at that. So the line for the eyebrow is right underneath the eye so I'm gonna bring them right here to the dark so you can see right there and they paint it over it so that looks weird already on itself but he does come with a ladder and once you get him to hold the ladder the same thing that with John Cena he does have that movement here on the you know uh, on the middle right here of the torso but the basic legs as well and you know overall a basic look I mean the arms still with the articulation down here to the elbow and but he does also have that same movement right there with the hands you know for him to be able to grip so that's the thing here with the brand new uh raking slam series is that all of the figures on this set have the ability of actually holding an accessory 
bashing each other up and I mean I really dig that so now let's get back onto the playset and the first thing I can tell you about this playset is that although Mattel does give you two of these stickers right here or decals whatever you guys want to call it uh, I was only able to put one because when you come here to the side is where you find uh, this little lever down here as you can see right there now you uh, actually move the lever here to the side and you kind of saw that on the ring you see that little crack happening there that's that is what is going to help you uh, create the chaos on your arena on your ring on your playset so let me just show you kind of how that works we're going to use AJ Styles here oh, don't worry AJ nobody else is going to bash you on the head with the chair so we're going to put him up here for now and let's just have uh, John Cena right John Cena come over here as well and uh, if they they were to start fighting up here and Cena was to push it through oh my god look at that chaos that is what happens uh, when you throw a superstar through the middle of the ring, I mean, this is the complete destruction of the playset. And then John Cena just jumps on there just to kind of create a little bit more of a chaos. But, you know, fully all four uh, ring posts, as you can see right there, have this little, um, you know, bendable piece right here that, it, you know, allows for this to happen. You know, kind of recreate uh, what happened when Mark Henry, you know, and Big Show were in the ring or when Big Show and Braun Strowman broke the ring or when Big Show and Brock Lesnar broke the ring. Man, thinking about it, they should have had a Big Show with this playset. I mean, come on. This would have been perfect and awesome to have a Big Show with this playset. But nonetheless, super, super cool uh, to be able to do that. I mean, this actually bends. If you can see right here, uh, this is the piece that holds it all together right here for the Performance Center logo. But right here on the middle, it has this piece that, that, that bends like that when it breaks. And then it just goes back into one piece right there uh, like this. So that's what creates the whole destruction scene right here. Now going into the back part of it where you have the weights and everything. I mean, this piece right here also on the middle breaks. Uh, this pieces right here we have seen before, like I said, with previous elites. Uh, I don't remember exactly the number. I know for a fact it was a Biggie and a Ryback that we had before. And we had those accessories. And I'm sure we've had them with plenty other like Lex Luger. I remember also had these uh, dumbbells down here. The weight, the punching bag as well, uh, kind of cool here. But if you see right here on the middle, I don't know, I'm gonna bring the camera as close as possible right there. It kind of breaks here from the middle. So if you wanna just toss it to a superstar and pretend that, you know, it broke on that, there you go, you can see right there. Or, you know, a superstar that is strong enough to punch it through and break it, you can also uh, make that happen. But overall, a really cool playset. I do recommend these uh, figures and the playset all together, guys. Such a nice set. Now, the figures are, like I said, they're elite basics. So you do get this uh, upper part movement, but you know, do not expect it here on the bottom part of the figures because, I mean, it's not there. But the cool thing is, that you know Mattel added this on the hands so I am happy at the fact that you know they can actually hold on to accessories like I show you right here with Seth Rollins such a great set but yeah guys this was the review for the performance center place it and figures I hope you guys like the review as always if you guys do remember to give me a like turn on notifications popping up down here let you guys know next time I will be uploading here on YouTube Spangismo305 talk to you guys on my next video bye